Hello and welcome to my sec the second part of my Allegro Library game making tutorial. And today we're going to start out by me showing you my super alpha version of the game. And later on going to the code. But first I'm going to show you the game. So, alright, here's the game. Alright, so let me just drag it over. You have your character, he moves around, he's moving, he hits walls, and he doesn't, let me show you again, and he doesn't keep going, he just hits the walls, and he stops. Alright, so, and when you click ESC, let me just click it, it goes, it shuts down the program. Alright, so, here, let's look, let's look at the code. Alright, so here, here you go. We're starting out by including all our stuff. All you need to include right now is Allegro.h. I think Allegro.h, I think that's the only thing you're going to ever need to include with an Allegro program, but I don't know. There may be other Allegro libraries. Anyway, so you start. I started out by declaring my variables, and these are global variables, meaning that they're outside of any function, and they can be... They, they'll be recognized in any function. And there's only one function here right now, so I don't think that matters. Anyway, so x, y, these are the coordinates of your character. x for length and y for the height. Dead is if it's if your character's dead or not. Right now, dead is just if you click esc, dead, and then the program shuts down in this while loop. So now we're just declaring what dead is. Dead If dead is 1, then then it's all right, you're alive. But it div if dead is zero, so it's going to say in, uh, if statements down in the loop, then you're dead. <laughs> so x and y are three, which is good because they're um, multiples of three, which is important because we're moving in intervals of three. And you want the, the you want to be able to, you see, you, you say if, you, in the loop, you say if x or y it hits zero, right? You stop. But if, but what if you you start out with two? If you go backwards, you get to minus one. If you go forwards, you get to five. So, how are you going to get to zero then? It's just going to keep going, and you're never going to get to zero. That's why it's always three or zero or whatever. All right, anyway, we're setting our color depth to 8. I did this because I'm pretty sure if there's black behind an image, like on an image, color depth 8 makes it go away, and that could make it look a little better. But I, this didn't work here. I don't know why. I'll fix it if I have to. And also, you may have seen the image is quite big, and, I, and as you, you probably know, you probably don't. But in Allegro, there's a certain size an image can be. And I don't know why, but when my, I made my images small, they just, they, there was a segmentation fault, and the, like, the screen just flashes, and then it aborts. And it says segmentation fault, you know, returned, I don't know, error code 11 or something like that. I mean, we're initializing Allegro, obviously. We have to initialize Allegro. We're installing the keyboard. Setting the graphics mode, uh, and it's 600 and 600. I don't know why it's set graphics mode when you're basically setting the size of the screen, you know, for your program. I don't know why it's set graphics mode, but I don't know. It doesn't matter. Now we're declaring our bitmaps. I already declared alien, even though we don't use it yet, but we're going to, so, you know, better to get ahead. Saves me time. And we're creating a bitmap to match the screen, 600 by 600, and that's going to go on the screen, and then we're going to blend all our stuff on that. I don't know why. When I looked at a tutorial, they said create a bitmap and put that on the screen and then put all your other stuff on that bitmap. I don't know why. I haven't tested it, but otherwise, um, Alien, you, you have to load bitmap or create. Load, you know, you take your image. And I don't know why there's null at the end because I don't know what this is supposed to be for. As I said, 
I'm a beginner. I'm pretty much a beginner. Anyway, while we're starting off with the game loop, and at the beginning, well, it's while if it's not dead, you can keep going with the game, but if it is, too bad, you're dead. Stop the game. Anyway, uh, sleep 0 0.05. You don't have to put this, but it's good because it gives the computer time, well, very little time, but time enough to cool down a little bit, which increases the speed slightly. But if it's too much, it just ruins the game because you can only click every second or, or I don't know. But the, the person using, the user of the game, I mean, a human can't even recognize, can, can't even realize that there's um, a delay. But there is. All right, we're starting. I'm going to go back to these two if statements in a sec. But first, let's go through these. Um, anyway, it's like this. Uh, if y or x is zero, it's gonna it's gonna add three, meaning it's gonna go back three pixels. It's just gonna move the character a little bit back. Either you could do this, or you could make it stop. But making it stop adds a lot of code. Yeah, it's not perfect if you do it this way, but it's all right. It, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's it's not gonna really affect anything. Um, all right, so then it's after that it's all the movements. If key esque up, down, left, right esque is um, it would make it dead because esque, as I said, esque shuts down the program. Up, down, left, right that controls it. It's weird because y equals y minus three for up. It should be plus three. I know what you're thinking. It should be plus three. Right, but it's minus three for some reason. I don't know. The coders of Allegro, the people who made Allegro, they made it like that. I don't know. It's like those things about C++ and a lot of other programming languages. They're just things. Anyway, so yeah, I, it took me a long time to figure that out. Um, so yeah, all right. So after that, oh, actually, let me go back to these two. The reason it's 522 and not 600 is because um, the coordinates of an image is measured by the top left corner of the image. So not like the middle of the image. It's the corner. So if the corner's at 0, it says it's at 0. If the corner's at 10, 10, it's, it says it's at 10, 10. But if the middle is at 20, 20, it's not going to say it's at 2020. It's going to say it's at 1010. Always. So 522 because you want the you don't want the corner to be at the end. You want the other side of it to be at the wall. So for it to stop. It's a little complicated, but it took me a long time to figure it out. Frankly, and I never look at the manual, the Allegro manual because I don't really think it helps very much. It's not very nicely made. Anyway, so after this, we have our draw sprite screen bmp it should be bmp screen it's weird you do the location bitmap first then the bitmap you want to draw second and then after that the coordinates one one i don't know why i made a one one i think it should have been one zero zero but i was getting a lot of errors so i just kept trying things i don't know i, I don't want to mess it up i don't even i, I it, it probably was something important i don't know and I, I after this i have to do clear to color because if you don't do this, it leaves like something behind, like a weird excess of the image behind. I'll show you what I mean here. If I copy it, take this out, give me one second. All right, here's what I mean. Let me just show you. All right, wait one sec. I didn't save it. All right, here we go. Here's what I mean. It leaves that kind of excess. It's really weird. It's really annoying too. All right, so back to the code. After you've done all this, you draw, actually, let me just put that back in. You you draw the, the, the UFO and try and keep it in this order. Uh, screen bitmap, uh, make call, B BMP, UFO. Make it in that order always. And then you destroy the bitmaps and return zero. End of main. 
and you're done.